Hey Scorpio, this is Diane 303 High Priestess. This is your weekly reading for April 2021. Summer Rising Venus sign. I had to jump right into your reading here, Scorpio, okay? And I got a weird message before I start started here, okay? Someone is saying, or someone from your spirit team is saying to me, okay, they may have the money, but you have the power here, okay? Now I just have to jump into your reading here. They may have the money, but you have the power. So let's see exactly what is going on here for you this week. Give me the cards here for Scorpio. If this reading resonates with you guys, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, loves, okay? So you know when I upload for you again. What do you have here for Scorpio? In your pre-shuffle, you have the King of Swords and the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles that I saw here, okay? King of Pentacles was like crossing you. Someone's challenging you at work or in a relationship. That's what the hell it is. We're going to see what this is, okay? All right. No worries. This could be in a relationship as well. All right. We're going to get some additional messages out here from your spirit team. To see what they want you to focus on. And if this reading does not resonate with you guys, make sure you check the description box. I have all of the zodiac signs listed there. You can check your moon rising and Venus sign to get a clearer picture of what your spirit team wants you to know. What would you like Scorpios to know here this week? What would you like them to be aware of? There we go, you guys. Ooh. What are we thinking about? Here's Scorpio. We're going to clarify this just a little bit more. To pinpoint exactly what the message is before we go in. Like someone has a fear of intimacy or they try to control you. Um with money okay what they don't know is your spirit team has your back they don't know who they messing with <laughs> that's what your spirit team is telling me okay abundance you've done the work abundance flows to you now okay and surrender your fear of intimacy you are ready to let love in some of you guys are ready to let love go okay um compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart okay to the person that is really meant for you okay uh, they're giving me side messages on top of what i'm already feeling here okay your spirit team is so uh your card is saying here scorpio spiritual lesson this person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson just like her that that song okay um i was just listening to it a few days ago um i was gonna say drama that's not what it is it's called damage okay damage that's the name of the song by her or h-e-r her i think it's her okay <laughs> i think in the song she was saying you're either a, a lesson to me or a blessing or something like that okay i can't remember the words for some reason it's it's not clicking with me for some reason but yeah Spirit is saying this uh, person is in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. Maybe they're just there for a season, okay, for you to be aware of something. So learn that lesson so you can move forward in your journey, in your path here, okay? That's what your spirit team definitely wants me to tell you, okay? And for some reason, this apple on this card feels like it's poisonous. That's why you're looking at it like, do I eat this shit or what? Okay, the card is saying if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit turn it over to your spirit team okay turn it over to the divine the most high doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem okay it's a message for you guys about a relationship a connection some of you guys need to put up 
boundaries, healthy ones, okay? Firm boundaries are needed now here in order for you to be successful in your life. That's why they're telling you to surrender to success. You are ready to experience abundance because it's ready to flow to you now like the card is saying. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities here, okay? You have the word, the card that says patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. You like it's my life i want it now okay i don't know why that just came up in my head okay but have some patience everything will unfold in divine time here okay and so <laughs> that's why i'm saying it because your card says surrender stubbornness here scorpio okay you guys are like what is my life i want it now damn it if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something or someone, gently observe yourself and become more yielding, okay, or patient, right? This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself, okay? They gave me a side message, okay? They're saying release someone with grace, okay? Because you're a lady, okay? Or you're a gentleman, whichever one. You don't have to get all heated and upset. <laughs> all right you, you can release yourself with grace that's what they're saying here okay and i'm saying this because this is where you are right now you're about to snap crackle and pop somebody upside the head okay five of wands energy okay someone that is challenging you challenging your thoughts challenging your beliefs here or you're feeling like you're caught in the middle of some situation and you don't want to be there okay um difficulties that I'm seeing here, arguments, clashes, comes up when the Five of Wands energy shows up in your reading. And would it being the first card, this is where you are right now, okay? Your card is saying conflicts with others caused by opposing opinions. Walk away from drama here, Scorpio, unless the situation is really uh, worth your time, then stand up for yourself, okay? Some of you guys need to take a break on someone, okay? Or emotionally withdraw yourself from a situation in order to preserve your spirit here. That's what your spirit team is telling me, okay? Some of you guys, it's a possible breakup. Or this is you rejecting someone else's idea that they're trying to impose on you. Their energy that they're trying to impose on you or push off on you, okay? Um Yes, that's what I'm hearing. It's time for you guys to spend some peaceful time in meditation and meaningful solitude, solitude alone, okay? So you can get your mind right. You can get your spirit right so that you can move forward with a clear mind here, okay? So what you need to focus on right now uh, is the king of pentacles. This came up for you before, okay? Um, and what you want to do with this person, it was crossing you before in your pre-shuffle here. Okay? I feel like this is someone here with the king of pentacles, someone that likes to flex, like I got this, I do this. Um, oh my goodness, they're very narcissistic. Don't you remember the time I did this for you? No one's going to treat you like this. I don't know why I'm saying that about the king of pentacles. I never say that that about the king of pentacles but it feels like someone um is challenging you okay uh this may be a very significant partner in your life or person in your life it could be a boss um or a lover here that's what i'm saying let's clarify this let's clarify who this is what it is be giving me the answers quick okay oh my goodness someone that you're at a crossroads with here with the two of wands energy, they feel like they have the upper hand, okay? And they feel like they control you in a situation here. No, no, no. All right, that's why your cards is saying firm boundaries are needed now here, okay? At this moment, and this person may be in your life just to teach you a lesson, a spiritual lesson here, okay? But surrender uh, your thoughts of this person. Surrender the energy and the vibration that they feel like they have over you, okay? Surrender yourself from it release yourself from it that's what i'm saying okay one more card for this person what's going on oh my goodness they watch it they watch you very closely here with the page of swords and they like to say slick things okay uh, and they like to say it in passing like you won't notice it or they don't make it a big deal that's what i'm getting okay um yeah i feel like whoever you're dealing with the King of Pentacles is supposed to be a down-to-earth, generous type of energy here, okay? Um, 
be very gentle but i feel like this person may flex on both energies here okay they use it to their advantage for some reason I'm not trying to make this sound negative. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Okay. Someone lacks in passion here. Okay. But they're very smart. They know how to manipulate a situation here. You need to take control right now at this moment. That's what I was feeling in the beginning and I'm feeling it now. Okay. So your past energy, I feel like the thrill is gone. Okay, the so, some spark is gone here with the Ace of Cups in your past position here, okay, behind you. What you have left behind is your feelings for them because they have showed you their true colors. That's what I'm feeling with the Ace of Cups energy coming in, okay. You have the Three of Wands coming in. That's why you have the card that says, have patience, because I feel like you're waiting for your life to begin. You're waiting to release yourself from someone or something here, okay. Like I said it could be a job or it could be a personal relationship whatever whichever one it is have patience here okay okay spirit is saying plan for the long term keep moving forward abundance uh, from past choices or present choices are headed towards you abundance they said that word twice while i was over here reading for you okay you've done the work okay abundance flows to you now you're wondering when is my ship coming in it's coming okay it's about to dock okay that's what i feel be patient as you decide what your next steps will be here, okay? Your future energy, look, <laughs> you guys are stepping out of one mess and moving into closer relationships. That's what I feel. Two of Cups energy that's coming in here. Falling in love with self or falling in love with someone, okay? Romantic relationship. It's coming towards you in the future. I don't feel like it's coming towards you like in the next week or so. This may take six months. That's what they're saying, okay? Um, or more. I'm getting like the winter time for some reason. Some of you guys, this is going to be happening in the summer. That's what I'm saying. You're going to meet someone here as well, okay? They're letting me know you're going to have an ending to difficulties. Damn. Oh my god what is going on here scorpio okay look you may still have that heartbreak uh of what happened in the past you may have been caught up in a in a love triangle or, or been betrayed by someone this is why you need to heal yourself over that energy something that you left behind because look baby <laughs> Okay, you have the lover's card, the knight of cups, the two of cups energy moving in here. You're going to be all thrills and excitement and some juicy things are about to happen <laughs> in the future energy here. So vibrate on this energy, okay? Vibrate on what I'm saying here. And oh, that sounded weird. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I just feel like someone's going to come towards you very passionately, okay? Um, But yeah really look at what they're offering you the lover's card is still a choice you don't want a love affair that comes with a trial or a challenge okay you want real love so make sure this person is not just thinking uh and fantasizing okay about a relationship that they're actually ready to work for it with ten of pentacles and the king of cups okay the king of cups sometimes has one foot in the door and the other foot is halfway in, but not really sure here, okay? So you may have something that starts off very passionately and may cool down a little bit um, and then pick up again. It may be just very seductive or you are just like enjoying your time with this person, but you know that it's not going to go nowhere, okay? So um, I feel like there's a choice to be made here in regards to love. Make sure this person is for you because the Two of Cups is not like they're going all in marriage, okay? Not like the Hierophant and the Lover's Card together where this person is ready to settle down, okay? The Lover's Card alone is like you have options here, okay? Or you have a possible true relationship moving in, Um but intuitively make a choice, okay, on, who, on what you're going to do with this lover, okay? So your suggested approach here, move with confidence here with the sun card energy that's coming in. Like I feel uh, you're going to enjoy yourself here in the future. Don't worry, your ship is coming in. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? Step into your own power here with the sun energy. Your card is saying a time of great joy and success 
brilliant epiphanies because you have gotten into a state of um, solitude that you could think straight with the hermit card crossing you. Okay, that's actually a potential for you to see these brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, whether that is in work or love or your personal development and growth here. Okay, your card is saying plans that work out perfectly. Okay, gratitude to the divine and your spirit team that is guiding you because they're around. They're protecting you right now at this moment. Scorpio, okay? So uh, what you need to know is that you're the boss. <laughs> you're all that in a bag of chips. With the Empress card coming in here, okay? That you have the potential for growth, okay? That you give birth to any idea that you have and you nurture it. Um, and I feel like you... Uh, I see flowers blossoming or blooming, okay? So I see very significant growth in your life here with the empress card coming in okay your card is saying time to take action give birth to your dreams creative projects will be very successful abundance and prosperity that's the third time they've said that okay abundance 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 here okay so your hopes and fears is that you will struggle alone don't manifest that into reality okay um you you won't be burned out make sure that you take the time that you need to really get in touch with yourself get your get yourself uh healthy in a healthy mindset here okay take time for yourself get yourself enough sleep make sure you're hydrated make sure you're eating right here okay make sure you're not overworking yourself and you are um planning okay for the future that's why you have the three of wands here planning for the long term okay will not have you all stressed and bent out like this okay so you don't have to fear this okay the card is saying working too hard or too many hours the need for balance in life let others help you here scorpio health problems due to stress so yes you can get yourself back into a healthier mindset and a healthier um yeah physical uh energy here okay you can be physically healthy as well you just have to take the necessary steps to get yourself to that position here okay some of you guys need to be a little frugal that's a side message here okay like you need to not spend a bunch of money uh that you don't have <laughs> okay so be, be very frugal start to save and pay attention to your coins that's what i'm hearing here okay queen of wands is coming up your potential future you're the boss and you're very intuitive here okay it's your intuition that's popping okay the queen of wands is coming in letting you know that you need to believe that you can accomplish whatever you set your heart and your mind to okay uh they're letting me know here that someone has underestimated you look at her sitting there all calm with that cat he'll scratch your damn eyeballs out okay you've been unestimating yourself and other people have been un underestimating your abilities here okay queen of wands is stepping in saying trust your intuition balance your home your career your finances okay um and put your attention in the right place okay they're letting me know that you're brilliant you're talented and you are independent okay some of you guys are a little controlling <laughs> i'm a little controlling as, as well but um your card is saying there is nothing you can't do. Believe in yourself, okay? Never underestimate your ability to make your dreams come true. The need for balance between career and personal life. That's what I was saying to you, okay? So let's get your final message out. Scorpio, you guys are on fire. I fire. Where's the fire truck? I'm going to ask your spirit team to step into this part of the reading to give you any messages that you need to hear okay, what would you like Scorpios to know here this week or whenever they watch this video I'm going to start making these readings timeless since I keep saying whenever you watch these videos okay? I feel like we're all on a different timeline so they may all become timeless I don't know Okay, they're saying focus on peace here, Scorpio. That's what you need to focus on. Let's read about this here. Okay, they're like plant that seed. Okay, nurture 
that thought that you need peace. The number 23 is actually on this card letting me know that you need peace after struggle, okay? And, and the reason why you feel so pressured, okay, and you worry so much is that you don't have this peace. Maybe you're taking on too much responsibility that don't even belong to you or someone has put a lot of responsibility on you um, while they're flexing all over the place here, okay? So you need to... Um, Focus on your own plans here, okay? Abundance from past choices, okay? That's what you need to do. Be patient as you decide what your next steps will be. So 23. I'm going to read the protection part of this because I need, I feel like I need to do that. Okay. Your card is saying here, Scorpio, now is a time for calmness and well-being in spite of temporary conditions. Even if there are this discontentment, okay, uh, in the music of your life, all that means is that you must go within like the hermit card, okay? And fine-tune the extraordinary instruments that you are. Um, find harmony within yourself and don't look to the outer world to provide certainty. This too shall pass, Scorpio. And once again, your life will be filled with beautiful music. Yes, because they keep repeating to me that you're going to have abundance, that abundance will flow to you now, okay, after you make some critical decision for yourself here, okay? All right, Scorpios, that is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, loves, okay? Or just come back to the channel and see if I upload it again, because sometimes notifications don't work, okay? So pay attention to the channel. Make sure you come back and check me out. Check out the community section. We be popping over there okay i have my people over there commenting and we'll be vibing all the time okay scorpios i will see you in the next reading take care loves bye